Well, I thought long and hard about the defining moment question, and I thought it'd be really good to be really positive and say something really flowery and great. And then I thought, well, maybe you should tell the truth uh, <laughs> instead. And um, so that's what I'm going to go with. For me, my defining moment, and most of the people who know me in this room have heard this story. They could tell you this story. Um, it, it was for me when I realized, as an attorney professionally, I had moved from the minor leagues to the major leagues. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'm an only child. I'm an only grandchild. My mom's here. Uh, and my mom's an only child. So my whole family is about seven people big, like my whole immediate family. And I was the youngest, so it was all about me. It was a support system. Everything is great. It was all about investing in me. And so even in the beginning of my career, I was in smaller firms and, and smaller organizations where it was still all about me and, they, and my success and wanting me to succeed. And so the first time that I actually realized that I was in the major leagues was when I moved into the large law firm setting. And uh, it was my first assignment, first or second assignment, uh, as an associate in a major law firm. And I thought work together meant work together. You do some, I do some. I didn't know that it meant I do all the work, you take all the credit. <laughs> I did not know that draft meant final, it could go to press. I thought it meant we're still working it out. I thought no meant no, but no actually means yes, you can do it. And so there was all this language that I was not familiar with. I did not know. And so one of my first assignments went horribly wrong. I mean, it went terribly bad. And because I had always been used to people wanting me to succeed, I thought, we'd talk about it, and I'd learn from that mistake, and then, then it would get, get better. Not exactly. Um, what happened from there was, and because I've learned diplomacy over the course of time, so names will, will remain out of this picture. Um, it didn't happen like that. And when my review came up, the person under the category, now, I'm a, now this is, I'm a young associate, so, but they're still asking about potential for partnership. And under the category of potential per, for partnership, he said, and I quote, none whatsoever, <laughs> period. And I was devastated. And I turned to some of the people in this room who know me well and they gave me good counsel and said, you know, it's not the first time your back's been against the wall. I turned to my husband who really just said, look, you know what you are, you know what you can do. This person doesn't believe that, so you have two choices. You can either prove him right or you can prove him wrong. And that was really my defining moment. I knew he was wrong, but I knew I hadn't had a real chance to show that. And so 14 years later, he now knows that he was wrong. <laughs> And, and it really defined for me what it meant to move from one aspect of my career in my life into a whole nother area where it wasn't gonna always be uh, other people helping to drive me. There was gonna have to be that inner drive and that inner confidence and some real understanding of what it meant to be in a competitive environment.